Hello everyone. If you are building conversational apps, then definitely you must have come across this token limit error. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how can we overcome this token limit using Azure Open AI. And the reason why we got this error is because whenever we are asking any question or whenever we are sending any request to this Open AI endpoints, the request and the response combined and that's how uh, the token limit is calculated. So it's not like only the request, but token limit is equal to request size plus the response size of your message. So that's how we are going to calculate. And let me quickly show you how we can overcome this limitation. So I have installed these three packages over here. You can see TikToken, OpenAI and Python. Uh, dot env because i need to read my settings using this last package and then i have imported these as well in this line of code you can see that uh, i'm just loading my settings because this is the file which contains my azure open ai's api key version as well as the endpoint detail and using that i'm creating a client then I'm defining, defining the role and few of the key parameters which we need to take care. So first one is the system message. So I'm just saying you are a helpful assistant. And the max response uh, I want is just with um, 200 tokens. I don't want to utilize tokens more than 200 whenever I'm getting a response. And the token limit I'm taking here is 4096, which is the limit for uh, GPT-35 Turbo. But if you are going with GPT-4, then it would be 8192 and GPT-4 32K will have 32768 uh, token limit. So let's stick to 4096 because we are going to use GPT-35 Turbo. And then I'm constructing this empty list because I'm going to accumulate all my messages into it, whether it is system or user level so that we can maintain the history of the conversation which we are doing. And the first message I appended is my system message. So let's quickly execute this cell. Okay, now next what I'm doing is I'm creating a function which will calculate the total number of tokens in that particular text. So nothing fancy we are doing here. We are using tick token and this would be our encoding. It will take every single message and give you the total number of tokens. So this is, I mean, you can get this code anywhere. Nothing fancy I'm doing in this. The next part, which is very important is uh, how we are looping through it. So first we are asking user to provide its input, which is nothing but the query. And then we want this conversation to keep going until user says, uh, user says stop. So that's why I'm putting here this condition until unless user query is stop, keep going. I'm printing this and then here I'm defining uh, the user query, uh, so associating the user query with the role and pushing into the conversation history. So conversation history would be like system message, user message, system message, user message. This is what our history is. And whenever we are appending anything to this, we will just go ahead and calculate the number of tokens uh, we have so far. So this particular variable con history tokens will give you the total number of tokens till that point. And these three are the key lines. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking whenever I'm getting uh, user's query, first I'm checking what whether I'm out of the token limit. So the token limit here is you can see for whatever we said 4096. Max response I want is 200 and this is the number of tokens which are having till now. So these two, if exceeding uh, combining these two and if this total exceeds token limit then what we will be doing is we will keep deleting messages so we'll delete the first message and still if we are getting this error we will delete second and this thing will continue until we are within our limits so you can see here we are deleting just one message at a time and then we are recalculating the number of tokens so this loop will make sure that things are all good before we pass anything as a new prompt and if we are here, it means we are within the limits and we have required buffer to execute our query. So these four lines are nothing. We are just setting the model, conversation history, and the temperature. You can set it whatever you want. And the max number of token, which is 200. And once we have received the response, we are appending it to conversation history. And it keeps going until our condition is true. So let's quickly go ahead and run this as well. So I'm saying hi. Then I'm saying, how are you? So you can see here, these are the messages which are a part of our conversation history. And I don't want to exceed this limit because this limit which I've set is definitely too high. So in order to 
uh, try out the system what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, 4096 limit to let's say uh, 210 so that we will see how the system is handling these errors. Now I am saying, hi, how are you? And here, it is taking care of, let me try out few more calls. How is weather in Seattle today? So let's see how it is doing. It is still doing. So it means maybe we are out of limit, but things are handled very seamlessly. So if you really want to see whether we are deleting these messages or not, what I can do is I can put here print so that we will get to know we are actually deleting something. Let's run it. Say hi. And you can see that the limit was so short that it couldn't accommodate even our first message. So let me do one more change here. So what I will do is I will make it to let's say 220. Let's run this again and I will say hi. How are you? And let's see how is the situation here. So we got the message and you can see that it's uh, when I asked the question, how are you? It deleted two uh, messages. So it means that it can accommodate next message now. And the one key thing which you can see is uh, here, I'm not deleting the zeroth message. I'm deleting one, the second message, because I don't want to delete the system prompt which we have provided over here. This has to be there in each and every conversation history. So that's the reason I'm starting with one, which would be definitely a user message. And that's the overall idea of how you can control this. So I hope you got an idea. And it's our responsibility to ensure that the prompt and the completion falls within the token limit. And if we are taking care of this, we can still go ahead and perform long conversations by keeping the track of the token count and only send the model a prompt that falls within the limit. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching.